on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this deck of the woods. It surely must be. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. And the list of names suggests that what we have in front of us here, Jim, is a 3-5-2 formation. It's a setup that's been enjoying quite a renaissance in recent times and one that complements the counter-attack very nicely with two strikers, two wing-backs, and potentially two runners from central midfield. You can understand its attraction because it really can get the numbers into the opposition's box and equally, it can get the numbers back into your own. Now we're on the way. Gets wrestled off the ball. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. In comes the cross. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. Lobs it in gently. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Tries to get it forward quickly. And he's not played the ball, that's a foul. That was travelling. Oh, that had to be more accurate. Laxalt proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Well, I think both teams probably feel it's, it's too early for either to start taking real risks. And the shot! He's got away with one there. Well, it was just some wayward passing that let the opposition in then. And I have to say, a very lucky escape. You lose it. Goes for goal! Danger averted for now. He's had a goal! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Aberdeen, yet to have a shot on target. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Forward it goes. Oh, good interception. Picked him out. Has 
a pop! Not this time. It's good delivery, though. Clearly trying to draw the goalkeeper into a, an area he doesn't want to come. Battles to win it back. Back to the keeper and go again. Gets it upfield. And that's been won straight back. Plays it out to the wing. Gets away from his opponents. And now they can launch a counter. Duffy hoists it forward hit long and direct it's being played forward and it's on the back foot he's got through hits one Class. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. And this could be the final action of the first half. Half time. Fascinating half, full of talking points, not least that last very, very late one. The midway point of the game. Aberdeen really did turn up the tempo at the end of the half, and while they would be disappointed not to have broken it through, obviously, the chances will come provided they can keep producing good spells. It's been a half with significantly more positives than negatives, I feel. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still, nil-nil. But we're already into the second period. So, deadlock still as the second half begins. A real chance to break. That's an untidy challenge, free kick given. Griffiths hits it! It's in! Just the pick-me-up the whole game needs! Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Celtic get themselves into the lead. 
Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Tries to switch the play. He's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Griffiths. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work up. Hoban. Jim, what are you thinking? Well, the time has arrived to start taking risks. They may well be happy just to level this. The message is clear. None shall pass. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Place it back. I wouldn't fancy playing up front in these circumstances, to be honest. There's absolutely no supply. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Balls loose, who's getting there? Celtic can't seem to retain possession. There's the delivery. Celtic are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. And it's played forward. Aberdeen are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Aberdeen are definitely not going down without a scrap. And the finish! And you sit there! They have pulled themselves right back into it. He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. Ah, oh, Peter, that was just a, a defensive act of generosity that was always going to uh, have a painful ending. Celtic can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, that goal just serves to give them the momentum and psychological edge now at this stage, but for me, they've got to chase a winner. Laxalt. Drives it towards the front. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Griffiths. And that's it. So nothing between them after all of that. And you can't really argue with the result. Now the manager too unhappy with the outcome. And the fans really well entertained. It's all square in the end. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Yeah, this looked the most likely outcome, but we've had a, a good variety in this game, despite it being anticlimactic. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.